Welcome back. A second vital skill you need to teach English well is to use teacher talk. Teacher talk refers to the need for a teacher to speak in a modified or simplified way to accommodate the current level of your students. Let's put this simply. Of course you talk differently to different people. Imagine, for example, that you have the same topic. Let's say what you did last weekend. But you share that topic to three very different people. A four-year-old, your father, and your best friend. Does it change things? What would you share with a four-year-old? How would you share it? What details would you change while sharing with your father? Better yet, what would you not share? And when talking with a best friend who you tell everything, would you find that you have a different rhythm, different vocabulary, and even different expressions? Absolutely. In fact, I'll bet you do this without even thinking. Good teacher talk is like this, but it involves a little more thinking and a lot of practice. Lots of new teachers, to be honest, are terrible at teacher talk. At the beginning, you might speak too fast or too complicated or too slow and simple. I have seen many teachers have well-leveled activities, but then when the teacher explains the activities to the students, the explanation is in an entirely different level than the activity. Whoops. But let's not just talk about mistakes we can make. Let's talk about what good teacher talk is. Teacher talk is made up of a lot of qualities that can include repetition, reduced grammatical forms, simplified vocabulary, signpost expressions, common cultural references, elaboration, clarification questions, and don't forget repetition. Let's look at each. First, let's talk about repetition. Repetition refers to the idea, of course, of restating an idea so it is clear to the learner. It is an essential language teaching strategy that many teachers over time learn intuitively. Maybe that is why my wife sometimes tells me to stop repeating things so often. Hey, I can't help it. I'm a language teacher. Also, when repeating something to help learners understand or emphasize its importance, teachers can use signal phrases such as, let me say that again, or in other words, to help learners catch the repetition. Second is the use of reduced grammatical forms. This refers to the idea of making complex linguistic elements easy to understand. While many experienced teachers have intuitively learned how to reduce their language structures, many new teachers will have to learn how to simplify things into common tenses and to eliminate unnecessary or confusing phrases and clauses. Third is the use of simplified vocabulary. This is an easy concept to understand, but a difficult skill to learn, because it means you recognize, again, often intuitively, what students in an entire classroom are likely to know. Do they know the word justify? No. But perhaps they know the words give reasons. Another teacher talk method is the use of signpost expressions, which refer to transitional words or phrases that help guide a learner's attention to the form or structure of an utterance. A signpost is the signal word or phrase, such as first, or also, or for example, that screams to the learner, you are here, or only one more idea to go. Next. Let's talk about using cultural references in the classroom. Many teachers who are not used to dealing with second language learners use cultural references that are unfamiliar to their students. Like when your dad is talking to you about his favorite rock band from the 50s. You need to be aware of the common cultural knowledge of your learners and make sure that your examples and references match the students' understanding. 
Another skill that I love to use when I see students don't quite understand what I am saying is elaboration. In some sense, I stop, I slow down, and I begin again. It is more than just repetition. In elaboration, you expand the information by including definitions and examples. For example, if I gave you the word frond, you might not know what that means. To elaborate, I would give you a definition and show some examples. The last skill I want to talk about is asking questions and providing clarification. Ask questions to find out what learners have understood and then correct or clarify information that is incorrect or misunderstood. And as a side note, when you do ask questions, please give students time to respond to those questions. Remember that silence can be a great technique in itself to create interest and elicit student participation. Not sure if your teacher talk is sufficient? Want to see some teacher talk in action? Please watch the example videos of teacher talk in the bonus videos at the end of this module. But here is a general tip. Language teachers are always paying attention to learners' eyes. If learners give you this look, chances are you need to revise and modify your teacher talk. Don't underestimate the skill of simply looking into students' eyes. In the next video, you'll learn one last useful skill to help you teach English now, scaffolding. Thanks for watching.